Hello everyone, today I'm in Volkswagen EAP second generation and I will uh, test the AC charging module of the car. For this purpose, I have connected the car to my work uh, AC charger on the one uh, side and the type two on the other side of the car. Uh, what I will do is test three things about the AC. One is uh, what will be the temperature increase when we are doing the AC charging. Second will be what will be the power lost when we are uh, doing AC charging. And the third one will be how fast the car it will charge actually. The My office uh, charger, AC charger is 22 kilowatts but the onboard charging of the car is 70.4 kilowatts. So I'm expecting around seven kilowatts per hour to um, drain from the charger. Uh, for the purpose of this test, I have used the OBD11 dongle that's already connected with the car and I will use the app for that. Uh, I have already connected everything. So when I go to the uh, battery energy module, then when it's loaded, when I go to live data and then search for history, I will uh, be able to see what actually, uh, till now, what data, oh, okay, the ignition is, must be on in order the history to uh, be shown out in the car. Let me try it again. So you can see here that the history of the car is shown, how much amperage I have drained, how much kilowatt hours I have charged since now. So uh, I will uh, write down this number and I will divide it after the test has passed. And for the temperature of the car, I will use the module which is called battery charger. And then again, I will use some live, live data. And see if here, if I type manager, I can see the battery uh, status from the car. You can see the temperature of the battery is 23 degrees, 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, the outside temperature is also 22 degrees, so uh, there will be no difference between the outside and inside temperature of the battery. So I will measure this. To measure the power lost, I will uh, receive an email when the car is charged, and then uh, I will divide. I will uh, remove the two values, and I will see a difference. I will calculate the difference and see what will be the power lost. My car just started to charge. If I no, it's not starting to charge, but I will start it. Main by pressing the button here and now the car will start charge 6 hours and 50 minutes to fully charge the car from around 15% okay I will do the test and uh, get back to you when uh, the car is charged around 90% guys uh, it is been around six hours for charging the car. Uh, I will just unlock it and check what is the result. By unlocking, I will just stop the charging process and then go back to the car and see what are the stats. So I will remove the cable and see the stats from the car and from the charging station. I started the test exactly two minutes to 10 a.m. And I stopped the test exactly at uh, 2 minutes to uh, 4 p.m. Now it is, I think, 4, 4 p.m. I needed 2 minutes just to uh, take the cable into the trunk and start the, and set up the environment. Now let's check the battery temperature. Uh, if we go to the battery charger. And loading, 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 and then go to the live data. Then we need to see the charging, the battery charger live data. 
which is value from battery management system and you can see 27.5 degree is the battery temperature so this is a, a rise of the temperature for about 4 degree 4.5 degree if you are charging with the ac i think the first if you charge to uh, 8 percent 85 percent then uh, the till this level the battery uh, temperature will increase and above this level will decrease because uh, the charging uh, power is reduced by the car so 4.5 degree uh, increase the temperature when we uh, charge with the ac now it is time to uh, check what is the uh, power lost uh, of the while we, ch we charge the, the car we need to go to the again to the module which is battery energy module then li live data then we need to type history here okay okay and the counter of kilowatt hour charge this is the number that uh, we need to take and subtract from it the number I, that i have pre previously written and if we subtract the both numbers we will see that i have charged 23.844 kilowatts of energy from the grid to the battery and if we divide this by six hours we will see that the average charging speed is around four kilowatts per hour uh, on the mail that i have received from the uh, charging station uh, they point me out that i have drained from the grid 27.3 kilowatts so if we again subtract the 27.3 kilowatt and 23.844 kilowatts you can see that the difference which is 3.46 kilowatts this is the power loss and this is around 12.5 percent power loss when we are uh, converting the ac to dc and with that said i think uh, we covered all the three uh, points that uh, i have in mind uh, while i was doing this test first the the power loss is 12.5 percent when you when you are charging from the grid second the battery temperature increased with around 4.5 degree while we're charging with the uh, with ac and also the the estimation of the uh, charging was around correct it's, it was correct it estimates that uh, six point six hours and 50 minutes i needed to charge the fully car but at the time I stopped the charging cycle, it was around seven hours and 10 minutes. So it was around cor correct. Okay, that's it for this uh, video. I hope you like it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.